Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete guide to the Shopify DOM theme customization. I will be taking you through the entire theme, showing you how you can customize everything from the main website to the banner at the top and everything else that you need to know. Before we jump into this, if you do not yet have a Shopify account, you can get the extended free trial using the top link in the description. So once you have either logged in or created your Shopify account, all we are going to do is go down to online store on this left hand side and then we are automatically taken over to the themes section and by default we already have a dawn as the current theme so all we need to do is first of all take the password off our store so just click on remove password and then from here we can now go in and click on customize then just like that we are automatically taken over and this right here is the dawn theme so up here at the top, we have the website header, then we have an image banner, and then down here we have a featured collection. So let's first of all go in here and edit the image banner. All we have to do is click on this, and then we have the main control panel that we can use to edit this on the right hand side. So we can add a first image in here. We can either select image and upload an image from your computer, or we can explore free images and add in a free image that is by default going to come with Shopify. So let's say that I am creating a home and furniture store. I can click into here and then we can add one of these images in. So let's just add this for example and then we can select this and just like that this image has been added in. Then you can either leave this if you just want this static image. However if you would like this to scroll along and show multiple images we can also add a second image in right here. So once again, I'm going to explore these three images and then I'm going to go down to home and furniture and then I'm going to add in this image right here. So as we can see, this is now going to load in two different images. We have half on one side and half on the other. If you want to delete any of these images, we can simply click on change right here and then remove the image. We also have the option to increase the opacity of the overlay so if I increase this, it's going to get darker and then that's a little bit too much. Maybe we can put this to 50. You can see the darkness goes up right there or we can bring this down and we will have no darkness and it just means this text will be a little bit harder to read. So I like to leave this at around 40. We can then change the banner height if we want this to be small all the way up to large right here. We can also change the desktop content position. So if we change this to top center, you can see that text and the shop all button is going to be moved above. Then we have the desktop content alignment. So once again, we can move this over if we want this to be centralized over to the left and over to the right. And then we also have the color scheme that we will get into later in the video. We can also add animations into this image. So as an example, if I want to go for zoom in on scroll, look at that. It's going to scroll down and kind of like move away as I scroll. We can turn this off and it's going to remove that effect. And then we do have a few other effects. So we have like ambient movement right here. And as you can see, it's slowly starting to move along to the left hand side and then it will do the same for the right. Then we also have fixed background position, which is pretty similar to the zoom in on scroll. So select that and then for the mobile layout, once again, we will get to this later. But that is the image banner right there. Then inside of the image banner, we also have this text and this button. So if we want to go in, we can click on this text and then over here on the right hand side, we can change what it says. So I might just type in G force North and add that in right there. We can also choose the size of this and then we can also select the button right here and change what this does. So first of all, we can change the label or what this says. So I could maybe change this to say by now. And as you can see, that's going to change. And then for the button link, this is where you can link it. So when people click on this button, where is it going to take them? So usually when you have a product on there, we can add a specific product. So we would add a product and then select the product that you want to link it to. So in this example, we could click on the buy now button and that would take us directly over to the product page for people to buy the product. You can also add new blocks into the section. So if we go to the section, we can click on add block. And then the only thing we can add here is going to be text. But we can add a little bit of text in right there if you want to. Moving down, we then have the featured collection. So all we have to do is click into this. 
we can change the heading right here. So let's say this is clothing. We can just change this to clothing. And as you can see, that's going to change. We can also change the heading size right here, as well as adding a description. So I could maybe just add the best, the best clothing in the UK. You can just add a little description and that's going to show up right there. Then we can go down to the description style and change how this looks. I prefer just to leave this as body. And then in here, this is where you can actually add the collection. So if you have a collection on your website, you can go in, we can change the collection right here and you can select the collection that you want to add. So that is this section right here. Now, if you don't have a featured collection and you don't have any collections on your website, what you can instead do is delete this and then we can add different sections into the DOM theme. So we can go add section right here and then choose from any of these different sections. So if you want to add in a video, we can add a video right here. And then once again, we control the entire thing over on this right hand side. So you can add a heading right here. We can change the heading size. And then most importantly, this is where you can upload your video. So we can either select a video right here and you can upload a video from your device. Or alternatively, you can embed a YouTube video by simply going over to YouTube, copying the URL for that YouTube video and pasting it into here. Now you can delete sections at any time and add in new sections. So for example, let's say we wanted to add an image with text. We can add this in. And then once again, on the right hand side, we can add in the image and then we can click in here and change the text. So for example, I can click into here and just call this test. That's going to change. And then I can do the same right here. So that is how we can edit the main section of the website. However, we do have a header above. Now this right here, this bit above the actual website, this is the header. So if we look right at the top of the header, we have this announcement bar. And the way that we change the announcement bar is slightly different. Because if we just click on announcement bar, we cannot really change the text or anything on this right hand side. So we need to go down to the text underneath. And this is where we can change this. So usually with dropshipping, you will have this bar that says something like free worldwide shipping, or maybe like 20% off everything. And you can add this into this top banner. Then we can also edit the header right here. So we can see the logo position. So the logo that we have, I will show you how to add this later. We can add this into the center. We can add this into the top, change that all around. Then we can also edit the main menu right here. So we can change the menu, decide what we want to show on this. So that is the header right there. We also have a footer, so we can click down. Once again, we can add blocks to this, but the main changes are going to come over here on the right hand side. So we can change the heading right here. And then if you want to add anything into the footer, we can do it in this section right here. Now that is the main bulk of the website. However, we do need to go into some of the settings over here, the theme settings. And this is where we can change some other things. So this is where you can upload your logo. So you would just click in here, add images, and then you can upload your logo. So we can click on done and that is now added in. Then the favicon image, that is, you see the little Shopify button right here and this Trello button. This is where you can add in the favicon image. So that's now going to show up there on the website. Then we also want to change the colors. So this is where you can set specific colors for your website. So scheme one is going to be for the majority of this. So we can go in and change the background to like red. And as you can see, the majority of the website right here is going to change. If we want to set this to black or any other color, that is how you can do that right here. We can also set this up to be a gradient instead. So right here, you can see that's now a gradient. However, I think a regular background color is going to look a lot more professional on your website. So let's just go in and we can remove this gradient. You can also change the text color. So if we want to change this to red, you can see that's all going to change. We can also change the color of buttons right here. And that's how you can change the colors. We can also go into typography and change the font settings right here. So right now this is set to, I think it was called assistant, but I can set this to my favorite font, for example, which is Montserrat. So we can set this to this font. And as you can see, the font right here is going to change. And so is the majority of the font on the website. So we can set that and that is how we can change typography. And then we have a few other options right here where we can change the page layout. 
the thickness of the buttons. But rather than me showing you step by step exactly what these are, I've gone through the main important things. And from here, it's worth just playing around with these. But I will say for 99% of the websites that I build, I really don't touch any of these backend settings outside of the logo, colors, and typography. So that is how you can customize the Shopify Dawn theme. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.